Welcome back. This is RT. Chaotic scenes have unfolded in the U.S. city of Berkeley, California, as hundreds of pro and anti Trump protesters clashed during rallies. Rioters were seen kicking and punching each other, setting off fireworks and burning flags. Police say at least 11 people were injured and there were more than 20 arrests. <laughs> Almost half an hour into the protest, um, people left a perimeter that the police had set up for the protest, which took place in a very small park um, in downtown Berkeley. So people just started to leave the perimeter and just went into the street, and that's where the where the real violence started. Both sides knew that they were there to fight. It was very obvious. One of the most dangerous things that they were doing is they were throwing bottles, um, crystal bo bottles at each other, Coke bottles. So the press and uh, most of the people that were there that were not um, taking really part of, in the protest, we had to retreat because there was real danger for us. Um, also, they were throwing uh, tear gas. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but my eyes are, are red because we were basically we were surrounded by tear gas. Uh, Berkeley has become uh, some sort of a battleground for Donald Trump supporters and opponents. The first riots erupted on the first day of February when university students protested against a planned lecture by a journalist who had openly expressed support for the U.S. president. Then on March the 4th, a pro-Trump march was interrupted by counter demonstrations ending up in fights with bats and metal pipes even being used. Political commentator Tim Young believes clashes keep happening because both sides are frustrated. You know, at this point, I really feel like both sides know when they show up in Berkeley, they're going to be fighting with each other. The first time around, it was the leftists and the Antifa uh, activists who started the violence. But I think that pro-Trump people are showing up there for some sort of like fight club. I'm surprised they don't start selling tickets for it at this point. So I think people are actually showing up. Now that this is the third time that the groups have gotten together in Berkeley and started fighting, I think now both sides are responsible. They're showing up there knowing that these fights are going to break out. It's just whenever they break out. And they've gotten bigger and bigger each time. I think there's just frustrated people on both sides and they actually want to fight. Breaking news this hour. Clashes have just broken out at a rally against presidential candidate Marine Le Pen in Paris. And uh, you're looking at uh, some of the latest pictures there from the scene. Mass protesters hurled rocks and bottles against the police and smoke grenades were used as well. Police in full riot gear replied with tear gas. And we will be keeping you updated on the latest from Paris at the top of the hour. And uh, this was the situation just moments ago. We showed you some live pictures earlier of what's happening in Paris right now. <laughs> Well, with just a week to go in France until the first round of the country's presidential election, the National Front's hopeful Marine Le Pen has found herself being attacked from all sides. On Thursday, her party's headquarters in Paris was even firebombed. Artie Charlotte Dubinsky reports from the scene. Well, as you can see, just behind me is an insurance building that is right next door to the National Front offices. They are to uh, the, the left of me. And it's here there was an arson attack that was carried out by a group who've claimed it. They call themselves Fighting Xenophobia. They say they carried out the attack because they wanted to disrupt the National Front ahead of the election. And you might be able to see some of the damage that was caused by that arson attack. The fire was put out fairly quickly by 
by the services, but now the remnants of the shattered glass on the doors behind me. In fact, the entire pane has been blown out of one of the doors, and that's because the group say they hurled Molotov cocktails at this building. They also sprayed graffiti on the wall, the graffiti saying uh, them, the group fighting xenophobia, was versus National Front. Now, Marine Le Pen has been at the party HQ here in Paris inspecting the damage. This is what she had to say. This is an act of aggression by extreme left. The other political movements do not think like them. They are responsible for all the acts of aggression against police that we occasionally see on television at the end of each demonstration. Now, fighting xenophobia, the group that's claimed that it carried out this arson attack on the offices here of the National Front in Paris, say that they will now continue to carry out attacks in the lead-up to the French presidential election. Well, up next here in our theater national, it's Worlds Apart that speaks to a UN representative for Palestine on how to ease the state's suffering.